Good day, everybody. It's another one. It's Sunday, and I'm heading out on the road. I've got to be back by Thursday, like I was telling you in my last video. We've got something going on on Friday that I'm excited to show you as it happens, so stay tuned for that. But before Friday, we've got to get some work done. I've got a load waiting for me in Bronkilt, Manitoba. It's already on the trailer. I just got to go bobtail there, hook on, tie it down, take off towards Alberta. I have two drops in Alberta, one near Red Deer in that area, and one near Grand Prairie, Alberta, up a little bit further north. And then from there, I start heading back home and I'm hoping I can throw some lumber on the trailer on the way back home. But uh, I do need to get back Thursday evening at the latest. So, or at least Sunday, I'm leaving pretty late Sunday here. So I'll drive like into the night tonight and all day tomorrow. I'll probably unload Tuesday morning in uh, around Red Deer. Tuesday afternoon up near Grand Prairie and then heading back just like that. So if you hear that sound near you and you're on the prairies of Canada and you hear a little going past you, <laughs> that was me. Don't mind me, I'm in a hurry. If you're new to my channel, they call me Trucker Josh here online. You can just call me Josh, that's fine. I run this channel, Trucker Josh Vlogs. It's a, it's a story about my life as a truck driver based out of central Canada, but I travel Canada and the US. I have 13 years of vlogs, plus some, on this channel. Go to my playlist, my main channel there. You can see all my playlists. I divided them up by year, and if I'm at home, I'm on the road, and stuff before I started this series we're on right now. Thousands and thousands of videos. I'm not even joking. You can go and catch up there if you like or you can start from right here and if this is the first video you've ever clicked on go down below leave me a comment say hi I'm new and myself and all of my friends the family here we have online will come and welcome you we'd love to have you stick around if you end up liking my channel just remember give it a thumbs up it does help me with the algorithms let's go get our trailer all right so we've arrived to where I got to pick up this trailer it's really way out in the middle of nowhere on a farm uh, but Let's see what we're working with here. I sort of did a little loop around it. It's gonna be a little bit detailed and complicated, but not the worst. Not the worst I've ever seen. So this is it here. I parked right beside it because uh, this is a driveway coming through here. Some other trucks might want to come through here. And I don't want to be blocking that all with my truck right now. So for now, I'll just park right beside it here. And this is my freight. It looks pretty easy from here, right? <clears throat> You'd be right in thinking that. These have fixed winches, which I'm not a fan of. You can't slide them, so that adds a level of difficulty to tying things down. It's beautiful weather out here, though, so it's a good day to do this. So you got this pallet here that's a lot lower than that one over there, so we're gonna have to be careful with how we tie that in. We've got this on top of a cardboard box. Same thing over there as well, too. Got this little guy here. That on top of a cardboard box. Now that's very interesting. Because it all depends what's in that cardboard box. And if I run through rain. Because uh, this isn't a tarp load. Winch is right here, right? Okay, so really coming through there to here. That's how we'll be tying that down. I'm gonna have to climb up there and see what's inside that box. And same with that one over there, because that tin is very light, very light. I can't have that flying off. And this here's pretty heavy. That stuff, I'm not worried about that stuff. That'll be easy to tie down. Everything on this side, it's really easy to tie down. So. 
a little bit of uh, skill involved with this, but nothing, nothing too crazy. The boxes are the craziest part to me. It all depends. If it's just a box, like around like a heavy steel thing, let's see. If the box is crumpled down, and if there's not a lot in there, that could be a big problem because then my strap is just gonna like crush this box and not secure that up there properly. So let's uh, let's climb up here. See what we're working with. Okay. All right, here we are. Okay, so it's a pretty solid piece in there. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's not that's not gonna be there's a solid piece of steel underneath here. It's like a big steel box inside a cardboard. So the cardboard's neither here nor there. If even if it were all to fly off, that doesn't matter. Okay, good. Good. So the one strap right from here, through there, down over there, that'll be good. And then we'll probably put one from here through to here, yeah, right there, okay. Same as on the other side there, to get that tied down. This is self-explanatory, we just gotta put uh, strap protectors on the corners. Actually, you know, if I could. No, because I can't slide those winches. Oh, that's so annoying. I'll have to put strap protectors on the sides there. And uh, for that, strap over there, secure that down. That's probably the same thing inside that box over there. It's a little bit bigger and it's as you can tell, very light. I'm gonna want two straps over this, but at least the one right through the center there, out that way. Let's just make sure we know what's we're dealing with inside of here, right? I wanna make sure that that this box isn't just gonna collapse okay yeah same thing as the other one it's uh it'll be fine okay I'm glad they thought of that because I mean if they if it, they would have just put it on top of a collapsible box I would have been like serious and what I've seen crazier things before though then you just move this this is super light I could just pick this up and put it somewhere else if I need to I could put it on top of this here maybe or on top of that there. I think it was both of them up there, actually. Huh. I'll think about it. I think we'll be fine right here. This over here, this is another thing I was concerned about. Because, well, actually it won't be too bad. Because the strap can go through here, right over that there. Okay, so that actually was loaded properly. So yeah, these guys know what they're doing. It looks like chaos. It looks like it's a whole bunch of like mishmash put together. Like, how are you going to tie that down? But once you take a closer look at it like this, everything makes sense. There's some places we go to. I'm not going to name any names on my channel here, but there is one place in specific that everyone knows that I know that does the same stuff as me. There's always one place that loads the trailer and every single time is loaded in a way that was not thought through for the driver to tie it down. And it's always like a four or five hour job tying it down because it was pretty much, I guess how they see it is they put it on the trailer, it's done. They don't think about how you have to tie it down. They just get it on the trailer, it's done. And then they leave. And then we come and pick up a loaded trailer like this later. Uh, but this place isn't like that. This is, this is a really good place to come and pick up from. These are really good guys. So I'm gonna start throwing straps. Get this all tied down. And we're gonna start heading towards Alberta. I'd like to get as far as I can tonight, yet we'll be driving into the night. So uh, we'll see how far we get. We, we need to get at least uh, close to Regina, so at least six hours down the road at least. I'd like to get to Swift Current or Medicine Hat, which, judging at the, the position of the sun in the sky already, I mean, we're going to be driving late into the night. We'll see. Okay. Oh, where am I going to put those tarps? Those tarps, tarps, tarps. I can put the tarps on here. Tarps in here. That'll, that'll probably work. I'll figure it out. Let's 
let's get it done. Oh, well, the sun's still up, so that's good. Didn't take too long. All, right. All the way down there, got my tarps hidden away right in there. Voila. Now it's time to do some trucking. I had to go down about a mile of gravel road to get to this place where I picked up. Oh, that's okay. I don't mind a mile or two here of gravel road. There's lots of gravel road in Manitoba. I I that's what, I just don't go up to Gillum anymore. That's like 600 kilometers, like 300 miles both ways of gravel road. That's that's too much for old blue. She deserves better than that. Last time I did that, oh, I messed up my polish. All my polish and my rims got all pitted. It was awful. That was expensive to fix that. So this is Carmen, Manitoba. We're headed northbound up towards the Trans-Canada Corridor. Where we'll head west and we'll see how far we get tonight. I've got 1,000 miles to go, about 1,600 kilometers. We'll get as far as we can tonight, we'll do the rest tomorrow. And it's, I called the receiver, the customer, and it sounds like they might unload me tomorrow evening, which would be great. Then I can head up to Grand Prairie, get a little head start. I should have gotten those bugs off my window. Shoot. Ah, uh, they'll be right back anyways in 10 minutes. Something's going on up here, just a little ways north of Carmen, Manitoba. Oh, I see another cop coming up behind me, about a mile behind me. I think he's going to be going to the same place as these guys, so by the time he catches me, I'm sure he'll go here. I wonder what's going on here.
dark at like almost 8 o'clock. By 8.30 now? Dark. So that happens quickly. September 21st is of course the, uh, oh, what do you call it again? Yeah, the equinox, right? Halfway between solstices. So after September 21st, we're officially into fall or autumn as my sophisticated followers call it. I just call it fall because leaves fall down and that's what we call it in Canada. But after the 21st, not only are we in fall, we are also halfway towards the winter solstice, which means the days start getting really short really quick. And we're in the downward part of the year. This guy's speeding up. Why do people do that? Well, why? You wait until I was all the way up here to... No. No, you don't. I still had a little bit extra. Why do people do... Dude. Are you even paying attention? He's got his high beams on. He's got his high beams on. I'm in Grenfell, Saskatchewan. I'm getting tired. I'm pulling into the Petro Pass to see if I can find some parking. If not, I'll be able to keep going, no problem. But I would like to stop if I can. Uh, no, I can't go in here. It says, do not enter. Josh, what are you doing? Read the signs. Yeah, there's parking here. Okay, so we'll be staying here in Grenfell tonight at the Petro Pass. And it's time to shut her down. It'll be a long day tomorrow, but, uh, you know, we'll deal with that tomorrow. We'll get a good night's sleep here. And we'll uh, figure out what's going on then. Oh, you got these guys taking up how many parking spaces? Where is that a parking? No, oh, that is. No, that's where they can park. Yeah, I think they can park there. Oh, whatever. I don't care. Look at all this empty parking over here to our right. That is fantastic. Let's go see what the neighborhood's like. <laughs> okay. So I parked way on the edge over here, all by myself. I was parked over there, but that guy is idling his truck at high idle through the night. Maybe he has to for, uh, maybe he might be running a CPAP machine or something and have to keep his truck running. But the thing is that his engine fan keeps kicking on and off. And his engine fan is very loud, like mine. Mine is also very loud. But I also have a button on my dashboard that if I click it on, it turns the engine fan on and it stays on. It's better to have a, a bit of a louder constant sound than a loud sound that keeps kicking on and off and on and off for people around you. So for the benefit of others around me when I do need to idle my trucks through the night if it's really cold or something, I'll turn my engine fan on so that it just stays on the whole time. That way uh, it's a little better in my opinion. It's just what I do, I know. Maybe I'm a, maybe I'm a little over courteous, but I think about other drivers a lot when I'm on the road and I think about their comfort and their ability to get a good night's sleep. I want everybody out here at this truck stop to have a good night's sleep. I want everyone well rested. I think everybody should want all them to be, everyone to be well rested, well rested. But there's my truck, there's my load. We're off way in the corner by ourselves. Pretty much the quietest place we can get. And those, that uh, truck there, I thought that, uh, I thought he was just parking there and blocking the whole thing. That's actually uh, turnpike parking. Those are big long parking spots there, which is good. Truck stops often forget that those guys need to stop for night too, right? So here they give them a spot to park. Time to go to bed though. The morning's gonna come quick. There's a beer. Are people really drinking here? It... Lucky. Why would that be at a throw that in the garbage in a little bit. 
Sometimes I don't like touching other people's garbage. But I'm going to bring it to a garbage can. I'm just going to say goodnight to you guys real quick. Ugh. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you guys all come back and tune in tomorrow because it's going to be a long day and I'm going to need some company. We'll get going from here early in the morning, probably around, I'm going to say around 9 a.m. probably. And then I've got about 11 hours of driving. If I can go highway speed the whole time, just 11 hours of just driving to get to my destination where I might get unloaded tomorrow evening. But to be honest with you, if we leave here at 9, I'm only going to be getting there at 8 o'clock if I don't stop at all. And I have this feeling, this sneaky suspicion that I'm going to get hungry and need to stop and eat at least once. And I'm probably going to have to stop and use a washroom. So, uh probably be getting there around like nine o'clock if they want to unload me at that time like i was honest with them i called them today and i said looks like i'm only going to get there around like 9 p.m and it's like a farmer and he's like oh yeah yeah we can still unload you at that time i'm like well i'll call you tomorrow and update you and we can talk about it then but if you want to i would really appreciate that but don't feel like you have to we can do it in the morning too They're like no no that's okay i don't mind working late i'm working late anyway Typical farmers, they eh? always willing to help you out, always working late, probably gets up at the crack of dawn too. <laughs> Gotta love our farmers, they got some great work ethic. You have to have that work ethic to be a farmer. So we'll see. If he wants to unload me tomorrow, uh, cool. If not, I'll park right there on the farm probably and we'll unload in the morning. Either way, after that, I gotta run up to the Grand, pra Grand Prairie area. Excuse me. Oh, about five, five and a half hours north. see what happens don't forget hit that like button if you do like my videos leave me a comment down below that's the best way to support my channel it's free subscribing is free as well hit that subscribe button let's see those subscri subscription numbers go up i know a lot of you who watch almost half of you who watch aren't subscribed so i invite you to hit that button it is perfectly free and if you're already a subscriber you really like what i'm doing here you want to take it one step further you can click that join now button get early access to my videos uh, it's like for the price of a uh, starbucks once a month and you get uh, first access and your comments also get a special badge beside them and they get sent to a special folder that I see first so all of your comments sort of stand out to me if you want to get a hold of me in that way. Up to you. If not, like I said, leave me a comment down below. That's the best thing you can do. Take care everybody. I'm tired. Time for me to go to bed. I'll see you later.